Well, here's the gear stick on. Just gotta put my little extension on. Go and get that. You see, there's the little aluminium grommets that I put over to go over the right up and down the stainless steel. Seems to work. Just gonna get my washer and put that on. Let's see how it works in a minute. But, um, I'll put a foam pad in there and I've actually cut the slot. Um, it's four wheel drive, oh, sorry, two wheel drive, high, four high, four high center diff lock, push him down, come across neutral, and then two high, oh, sorry, four low. So it is four low. Four low, neutral, four high center diff lock, four high, two high. And of course our and reverse gear. It seems to be all working fine. I just need to see, make sure that um, in that preliminary test, the uh, the boot interfered a little bit. You can see I've put some stainless steel screws and washers in to hold it in place underneath. You see what I've done here? Carved him out. Obviously, nylock nuts. Stretched him up, up up there out of the way a bit. I used a little bit of heat to mould it, and um, just to keep it in place. It was just a rock bolt behind there, and just to keep that stretch too. The steering boot, you can see the front there I've carved him out a bit to allow room for the, the shaft. The, uh, it's the, the shroud, the insulator rubber. And what I've done on the back here, I actually heated the uh, heated it up and the steel bar there and moulded it around the gear stick to give it a little bit of room. I want to go to four low and too high, I do have to lift the boot just a little bit because it's interfering a bit just to, just to pull it up out of the way and it goes in and locks in. Um, considering most of the time I'm either in four too high or four low. I go to four low and need two hands but I figure I've got to be stopped anyway so it's all good. So I'll put it back together and put my little shroud on him and see how we go.